What's up guys and welcome back for another solo mining episode and in this one we're going to be looking at Nullsec Ice and I am using an Endurance here because this ship is surprisingly cheap. It's about 30 million to do this and I'll put the uh, fit in the description but the strategy here really is to pick a rock that's far from zero and then we have our afterburner or our uh, prop mod turned on with our hardener and then we would just orbit as far as we can from the rock so our range is about about 8,000 meters so I try to set orbit to about 5,000 so that when we're at full speed we're still within mining range I get about one piece of ice every 47 seconds or so it takes a little bit it takes about 15 minutes or so to actually fill this ship up which is uh pretty decent for the price the <clears throat> for some reason on live the uh the pristine white glaze is not showing any inventory value but if you uh compress 19 units of pristine white glaze you're looking at like 4.7 million or so um i haven't actually started working on ice processing with this tune yet so the refined value for 19 pieces of ice is somewhere in the neighborhood of like three and a half million for the byproducts but I think that once I get the ice processing five and everything maxed out, we will be looking at about five to six million in value per trip, which is not great. Obviously, if you want to do a, um, anything with ice in Nullsec, you're going to need a fleet. What I used to do is bring a Rorkel with uh, several hulks out here. But I think if I had to take a fleet out here now, it would probably be a porpoise and probably a few procurers just to be on the safer side the procurers have higher damage with drones so taking down rats is a is a lot easier for them the uh, porpoise can be a little soft to the battleships as well so you might have to have a uh, shield booster or something on that porpoise but the endurance does pretty fine we actually um what we'll do is if rats come on grid, then we will use the three drones that this ship is allowed to use to basically take down everything that we can uh, except for battleships because three Tech 2 light drones are not going to take down a battleship, not in any time frame that you'd want. You'd fill up, you'd fill up like twice <laughs> in the time it take three of those drones to actually kill a battleship so the strategy here is just kill everything but the uh, battleships and then just keep orbiting at with your prop mod on and essentially bring the incoming damage down so low that they won't be able to kill you before you fill up and then you just warp off so hopefully we'll uh, see some rat spawns here so I can kind of demonstrate that but Normally, for me, since I'm just kind of stockpiling ore, ice, gas, all that stuff right now for industry, if I feel like it, I'll come out here with the endurance and do a couple of trips a day. Um, sometimes, I, I actually, um, so far, we're, we're doing pretty well, and we haven't seen any rats pop on grid yet, but there are some times when you'll get out here and you'll barely get through the first cycle, and you'll have, like, three battleship rats on grid with you and it and they just put that time pressure on you you can get all the frigates and the cruisers and the destroyers and all that stuff down pretty easily with the drones but usually with three battleships kind of hitting you even the sig tanking essentially um we'll kind of just put a clock on everything because while you're doing that then you're also just watching local and all that stuff as normal in high sec which is what you want to do but since i'm not actually building fuel blocks or I don't have a an immediate need for large quantities of ice getting 19 units here 19 units there is fine if you were just trying to let's say farm enough isotopes to maybe fuel your battleship or your black ops battleship or something like that doing something like this would be sufficient enough I mean you're probably not jumping that battleship around a whole lot and they are pretty good with uh, topes and stuff, but 
if you were going to sit here and fill up like farm with an endurance like this and the goal would be to like have a, a, be able to fuel a jump freighter that would take you a while all right so we got some rats here got as you can see we got two frigates two battleships so i'm gonna go ahead and throw out the drones our our goal here is to basically take down the frigates and then suck the drones back in because like i said you can't take down the battleships so you'll be able to see exactly kind of the strategy i was talking about so if you're in this situation as well you shouldn't have to worry too much three battleships would probably put quite a bit of pressure on but i don't think two is really going to turn our clock too much and we're pretty close to being full anyway right now so i'm not too worried about it we don't have com i don't have compression in this system or otherwise you could you know go and drop off the ice compress it um usually you have to travel quite a bit in nullsec uh, unless you live in a system that has ice which would be ideal but in most cases where you have to kind of move to like a uh, common system or something where a lot of people are sharing an ice belt then you're probably not gonna have compression but uh if i did i would basically do multiple runs and just bring back a large amount of compressed with me all right so we have two battleships left as you can see we're just we're going to continue to orbit our uh, orbit pattern changed a little bit so now we're running into a rock on one side of the rotation which slows us down to about five to six hundred meters a second where we take a little bit more damage but when we're at full speed like this we're taking about three damage from each of the uh the battleships slowed down damage went up a little bit but then when we get back up to over a thousand meters a second the damage goes back down to like three so this would be the strategy like even even if we were just had just started mining they're doing so little damage with the orbit that i can essentially fill up the entire endurance while tanking the damage from both these battleship rats which is um which is kind of the purpose of this the uh the prospect is not as great at doing this because no drones you would essentially be dealing with those frigates which would be able to hit you a lot better than these battleships um because there's such a disparity in uh seems radius and tracking and stuff like that so that's why this works but we're pretty much full hopefully you guys enjoyed this video but uh yeah ice uh don't say ice mining it's a lot chiller than <laughs> uh high seg ice mining pun intended but thank you for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button, consider becoming a channel member to support future content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.